everybody, this is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill who loves reacting to Eurovision past and present. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and if you like this video you're about to watch, then please consider subscribing. I'm in the middle of a reaction series that I'll link to above if you want to hear me talk a little bit more about that. But I also take reaction requests to like national selection entries, um, or like non-Eurovision songs by Eurovision artists. So subscribe if that sounds like it um, is interesting to you, but please also like this video. Every like helps me um, and I really appreciate it. And please comment below your thoughts on this song, your thoughts on how it placed, uh, the song in general, um, or any other thoughts that you have, any other fun facts or information you have about the song, whatever. I like reading them and I read all of them. So anyway, tonight we are continuing with our off week between 2006 and 2007 by reacting to some 2006 entries that were not in the top of round 10. And so tonight we are reacting to the two entries. Now it looks like there was a tie and we happen to be reacting to two entries that tied with one another. So right now we're reacting to Norway's entry in Eurovision 2006. And that entry would be Alva Dansen by Christine Gudbrandsen. I apologize if I messed that up in any egregious way, but I did try. So anyway, also, before I get into this, sorry if I look horrible, but like, I just like, my sleep schedule has been not as it should be. Like I'm good about getting a full night of sleep usually, but last night I did not, and so I'm just tired. So I'm going to bed like right after this. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this because although I'm tired, I'm still very excited to listen to this song and see what it's about. Clearly it did pretty well. It came close to the top 10, so. But tell me about this tie situation because you don't see that much these days. Okay, so she also wrote the music and the lyrics. I like that opening vocalization, just on like, ah. That sounds like a, like a didgeridoo in the background or something like that. I love a, I love a dress and a windy stage. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I like this formation that they're in. I like the, the movements remind me of Azerbaijan 2011, just the arm movements. <laughs> and I love the two violinists. Maybe it's a viola, I don't know. I was getting confused. The song feels fresh. And maybe it's the styling, maybe it's just her voice is kind of bright. But the song just feels like a breath of fresh air to sound a little bit cliche. Oh, she sounds good. So she kind of took that up the octave from, from where the song opened. And she did it well. <laughs> this is pretty. And actually, I didn't notice this, but I like what they did with the graphics on kind of that, those stair steps elements in the background as well. They're not just solid colors, but. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Okay, now she's coming back to the middle.
Just a good boys. Not miss not missing a single note. That was a powerful ending. She said. <laughs> that was powerful. Look, I really enjoyed that. I see why that came as high as it did. Um, what I wanted to say before I forgot was that is an example of an act that doesn't have like complex staging, but it's effective staging. I really appreciate it. Well, first off, I appreciated that their outfits matched. <coughs> Portugal. I appreciated that their outfits matched. Um, and I also appreciated that even though, you know, there weren't any dancers on stage, you know, let's be clear, there were not any dancers, but they made sure that the movements that they did were all coordinated and that they were effective. You know, they flowed with the song. So it didn't just look like they were just kind of doing their own thing or it didn't match with the song or it didn't match with one another. It was all really cohesive. And I think that combined with the vibe of the song, it was a very fresh feeling song and the wind helped with that, the colors, of the dresses helped with that, her voice helped with that. I think that made it just a very enjoyable song to listen to. So thank you for recommending that I react to that. I can't remember exactly who recommended it, but, um, if you watch this, then please just let me know if you recommended this in the comments just so I can like recognize that because I, I found that just a joy to watch. It was a fun entry to watch. Well, I mean, it was fun to watch, but it, I'm not saying it was a fun entry. You know what I'm saying. It was fun for me to watch, but the entry itself is more fresh. But anyway, so thank you again for watching this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. Comment below your thoughts on this song. Do you think 14th place was too low, too high? Let me know what you're thinking. Also, tell me about this tie situation. Because like I said, you really don't see that too much these days. Has there been a tie since like 2012 when, what was it, Bulgaria and who else tied? Oh, I can't remember. I think, I remember the guy's face. I just don't remember what country he represented. Um, was it 2G? Maybe not. Let me know about the tie situation because I'm interested to hear like how this happened <laughs> and like why they left it as a tie instead. Maybe there weren't televote. Anyway, I don't know. Just let me know about the tie situation because I'm really interested in that because there was also a tie for, there were two 12 places and two 14 places. So let me know about that. But anyway, and again, if you like my reaction and you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'm excited. Next week, we're going to get into 2007, which unlike 2006, I have not heard but like two entries from 2007. So I'm really excited because all of those reactions will be like true reactions. But anyway, again, thank you for watching this video. And as always, I will see you next time.